and welcome to my channel, Purposeful Play, where I talk about all things early childhood education. My dog is barking. I'm Danielle and I teach 4K in Wisconsin. And today I am excited to show you and teach you how to create clickable Google Slides that you can upload to your Seesaw account and share with your students and family, which I think is a really great skill to have, especially with so many of us going back 100% virtual, which is what I'm doing. So um, I want to just give you a little tip that if I'm talking too fast through this video that I'm going to share with you, then you can always pause it, take notes and go back, which is how I learned how to do these um, clickable Google slides. So if you have any questions, please add them to the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them. And I hope that it is easy enough for you to follow. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is open up Google Slides. You're going to click on File. You're creating a new presentation, and which is what I've already done here. And I like to delete the text boxes and start with a fresh, clean slide. So let's delete those. There's my fresh, clean slide. Now it's blank and white. You can keep it like that or you can add a background. So you can choose a color here. You can also choose a gradient color or if you want to be extra fancy, you can choose an image. Now we were doing an insect study. So what I did was I clicked on Google image search, typed in insect background, and then a bunch of these came up. So I'm gonna click on, let's do this butterfly one. I'm gonna be done to add that one. And there's my background. Next, you wanna create the boxes where your activities will be, your clickable activities. So we're gonna add some shapes here. And I just, let's just choose the rounded rectangle and I'm going to draw a rectangle in here. And then let's do three because I want to show you three different ways to do this. So there's two, another shape, there's three shapes. Okay. Again, these can be kept as these whitish boxes or you can click on it and add a background fill color. So let's just change that, of course, again, to just fancy it up. Oh, they're all different colors, all different um, shades, but that's okay. So on this first box, let's add a YouTube video. So you're going to have to open another window, which I already have. And I typed in insect dance on YouTube. And let's say I like this preschool learn to dance bugs and crawly things. You can check out, watch that video, make sure it's what you want. And if it is, then you're going to copy this link. And now let's make it safe for kids to, walk to watch to make sure that other videos don't pop up or anything inappropriate. I've opened another link that, link that is, oh, sorry, another window, window that is viewpure.com. There are other sites that can purify your, um, your YouTube links that you share. There's, um, I know one that's called Share TV, but this is the one that I prefer, which is ViewPure. So I'm gonna paste my link, which is, I, I already did that, so let's try that again. I'm going to paste my link in here that I copied from the YouTube video. I'm going to purify, and you'll see that it comes up with that video that I want them to see. You can watch it again just to make sure that is what it is, and when you know for sure, you're going to go up to the top right-hand side, click Copy Link. Let's go back to our Google slide. And then on this first box, I'm going to insert my video. So let's insert video. And this is different ways you can do it. I've already purified my link, so I'm going to paste it into here. If you don't need to do that, you can actually just search right here on YouTube but I want the purified one. So let's select that one. Yep, looks right. 
and I'm going to resize this. Now this one didn't really need the little bluish box there, but that's okay. We'll keep it there anyways. So there is the link ready to go. And you can see that when you click on it, it pulls up the video. So that is one way. The next one is we're going to add a video that I have recorded. So I'm going to open up my Google Drive and here's a video of me singing a song. So let's open up this one. I know that that's the one I want to share with them. I'm going to go up to the top right with the three dots. I'm going to click on share. And when this pops up, you want to make sure that it says anyone on the internet with this link can view. Sometimes it comes up that only people in your school district or it's restricted so you can go to change and change it just making sure that anyone with a link can view. I'm going to copy the link now. I'm going to go to done and then I'm going to go back to here. Now I like to add the words here so I'm going to add um, Sing a song with Miss Danielle. So they know that they can click on this. I'm going to highlight all the words. And this is where I'm going to go up here to insert the link. So I've already copied the link from my Google Drive. And I'm going to paste it here. And I'm going to apply. Now there's no picture here. That's just a link when they pick, click on the words. Sometimes if they're not clicking right on the words, they might not get that. So I often will add a link that is attached to not just the words, but the shape as well. So let's just add that link again. So that if little fingers click on the words or on the box, then both will open up my window. Now the last thing I wanna show you is if I don't want this video to pop up the way that it is, I can add a link a different way. So here's what I do. I look for a video, or sorry, a picture of that video. So it was called Preschool Learn to Dance. So let's go here. I'm going to Google Preschool. You can see I've already done that, Learn to Dance. And then I'm going to find an image. There's the video. I'm going to copy that image. And I'm going to paste it right here. We will have to resize and move it around. So let's move it back over here. Make it a little bit bigger. And then same thing with this activity. I'm going to whoop, add the link to that box. Oh, but first I need to go and copy it again. Copy the link. Go back to your slide and paste the link with this insert link right here. This is the purified version of the YouTube video. And there we go. So that's a way that you can see the picture. If you don't get a good picture when you insert a video using this technique, you've got it right here. When they click on that, it'll take them to the pure video. So that is how you create the clickable Google slide. Let me show you now how to upload it to Seesaw for an activity for students. So I've got my Seesaw open here. We're going to add an activity. So I'm going to assign an activity. And you'll see that I already have a lot in my library, but I'm going to create a new activity to show you how to do this. So create new activity. Let's see. We'll just put um, test activity. Don't call it that. In here, you're going to type in instructions. So in the past, what I've done is I say, you know, click on the image to the left. And then, you know, you can type in, you know, check out all the videos, um, what it, however you want to give your, your instructions. But the most important thing is you're going to ask them to click on the image to the left. There isn't an image yet, so we're going to add that image. So let's add multimedia, multimedia instructions, for example. Click on that. We're going to upload our Google slide. Now my slide is from Drive, so let's go to my Drive. Select from my Google Drive. 
It's going to take me to my Google Drive and look, it's right there. I'm going to select this one and it right now it's a PDF. So the kids cannot click on this. It's not linked to anything. So in this little here, we're going to add a caption. So let's open that up. Instead of adding a voice caption, we're going to go back to our test lesson. And now we need to be able to share this template or this slide with kids. So let's go share. Right now it's only private to me. So I'm going to share it. Oh, it's restricted. So let me change that. Let's go to anyone with the link. So I'm going to copy the link and then I'm going to go back to Seesaw and then I'm going to paste the link right here. So it's ready to go. Now I could add another page if I wanted even more activities, but right now I'm going to just show you what it looks like with just one page. All right, so it's ready to go. My instructions are here. Of course, you would add more instructions. And then I'm going to save it and show you what it will look like for students. Let's assign it. Remember, you can assign it to all students. You can assign it to one student. Right now, I just have it set as one student. You can also schedule it. Let's say you work on the weekend. You want to assign it for Monday morning. You can actually choose a day and time when this goes out, if you like. Let's assign it right now to my one class. And then I can, hmm, let's see what it looks like. View activity in 4K. Here's where it is. Click on the image to the left. So I'm going to click on it, and it is going to open up this slide. Again, it's not clickable, but if I click on the link or this view, the Google Doc, it's going to take me to this. And this is what the kids will see. Now, of course, I'm signed in as me, so it looks a little bit different than what the kids will see, but it will be clickable to them. All right. Does that make sense? I really hope that this works for you guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than willing to help you out. One last thing I want to share with you. Let's go back to my activities so you can see my directions and how I included different multiple pages. So here's one that is, hmm, let's click on this one. We'll click on the left. You can see that I have four things on here and I'm going to click on it. And this is what it looks like to the kids. Again, remember they can't click on these. These are not interactive, but they can go down here to the Google Doc. And there it is here, ready for them to go. And then look to the left here. Do you notice this? There's a second slide that may have just simple activities. These ones don't have links, but this one does because it says watch this video. So there are ways to add multiple slides so that kids can have more activities to do. There you have it. There's how you create clickable Google Slides and how you add them to Seesaw. Thanks for watching.